guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel about the title i'm about to go door dashing if you're new to door dashing if you're just trying to find a way to bring in some extra income if you're thinking about door dashing and you don't know how to door dash or you want to one of those people like me where you want to see what you're doing before you actually do it then stay tuned because i'm gonna take y'all through the whole process from getting your first order to the end of the day so stay tuned So first things first for me when I dash, I like to make sure my tank doesn't go under a half tank so I just feel up. I like to come to Starbucks before I dash because I get a drink and I also get a shot of espresso. And that espresso is just going to give me some energy, it's going to get me hyped up, and it's going to get me in and out and make my day go by easy. It is currently 12.39 p.m. on Friday, March 18th. I usually like to get started. The best time to get started if you can do it all day is like... 6 a.m. because you get their breakfast orders, you get the lunch orders, and you get the dinner. So some people do DoorDash all day. I don't DoorDash all day. I usually DoorDash, I want to say, average about 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'm getting the lunch and the dinner orders. But if I could, I would definitely get the breakfast, lunch, and the dinner orders because we'd be making buku with it. If I get started around 1 o'clock, I still can make a good amount of money by six o'clock i used to do that until 6 p.m but because of daylight saving time now i'm going to be doing eight o'clock p.m so we're just going to see how much money can be made today all right y'all so we got to go into the doordash app see exactly how it works so in the meantime i'm heading to a hot spot area where i know i'll get some orders also right now in my area they're offering a dollar extra per order so it's called a promotion so with the promotion you'll get however much they're offering extra per order so sometimes they'll do a dollar sometimes they'll do two dollars sometimes three and the most i've seen is four so right now because it's lunchtime they're offering a dollar so i'm about to go in and dash now then it's going to ask the time you want to stop dashing so i'm going to just do eight o'clock p.m of course in between time you can also pause your dash if you need to so you don't really have to strictly dash for a whole um from one o'clock to eight o'clock so now it's going to ask you are you ready for your dash if so you have to check off that your phone is charged you have enough gas you have your red card and you got your hot bag so we can start dashing so now we're looking for orders and for me I got for me I've gotten familiar with my area now so I know like where the hot spots are I know the areas that's gonna give me the biggest tips too as well so sometimes I'll go chasing hot spots and sometimes I'll just go like to the areas that I know have um, like that, that's gonna tip me good so I got two orders that just came in for $13 for two stops loops eatery and pokey bros so I'm gonna accept it So they also text you as well as let you know in the app that you have a um, order. So that's what we're doing now. So when they give you an order that has when they give you an order that has two stops, what you want to do is check to see the pickup times because like my Pokey Bros order has to be picked up by 1:57 p.m. Right now it's currently 1:43. My other order, which is Nuke's Eatery, has to be picked up by. Well, it says ready around 151. So, whichever order has to be picked up by the fastest time is the one you need to get to first. Also, when you accept the order, right in the same app, it also has the directions to get there. So, once you accept the order, you just click directions and you have the directions turn by turn, just like a regular GPS would. It tells you exactly how to get there. So, I just put up the Pokey Rose. Now that I'm here, I'm going to say that I've arrived at the store because it acts. I'm gonna go in and tell them that I have a DoorDash, give them the name of the person that I'm picking up. And if you get inside, and so it says that the pickup have to pick it up by 1:57 p.m. It's currently 1:47 p.m. So if I get inside and it's not ready yet, there's an option that says tell us what's happening to help speed up pickup. So I just click that and I'll say order not started to arrive, store busy line long order still being prepared drive through line busy or long cannot get help from store employees or something else and you just submit it 
that way you're letting them know that you know you're doing your job you got there on time the order just wasn't ready and it's not here so yeah let's just go in here and see if our order is ready so i got in there my order was already already ready they had it sitting on the counter it was already ready they had it pick, sitting on the counter so i'm gonna go into the app now and confirm pickup so confirm order was picked up gotta press confirm now i have to go to nukes eatery it's giving me my second stop and Nukes Eatery, Eatery is literally like right across the intersection. So we're gonna go to Nukes Eatery next. A lot of restaurants too have uh, it where they have a side of the restaurant that's only for to-go orders. Like Nukes do. So I just go into the grab and go section and grab the order. just like that and like I said those are the type of orders you want because you're in and out so you're not really wasting any time so of course I picked up this order I'm gonna confirm the pickup the extra about the items that's in the bag but you can't even go into the customer's bag because the rest of have it sealed up so you can't even confirm what's inside of the bag so I don't even know why it has that option on there but yeah so you're just going to follow the directions to get to the person's house also, when you're getting close to a delivery, you can look to see the instructions regardless, regarding to whether they want um, you to hand it to them or drop it off at their door. Since it's COVID or whatever, a majority of people just want you to drop it at their door, so you literally just drop it right off and leave. Some people want you to hand it to them, so you can knock, ring the doorbell, whatever, then they come to the door and you get it to them. But like I said, majority of people want you to drop it off. Majority of the time, I'll drop it off and ring the doorbell. But some people will put in the notes, like, drop it off, but do not ring the doorbell. So, it just make sure you read your instructions. So, with this order, she wants me to leave it at her door. And she also put her exact address in here. So, that's what we're about to do. We're about to just drop it off at her door. So that was the first part of the delivery, and now I'm about to do the second delivery, which is seven minutes away from where I just dropped that one off at. These instructions are to hand it to the customer, so I have to hand it to the customer. Whether you're looking for more efficiency, more power, or something in between, ability, financial management, and teamwork can set your child up for a successful future. Okay, so that was that order, and I earned a total of thirteen dollars by completing both. And I was tipped an extra five dollars. So it puts me at eighteen dollars. The way DoorDash works is you get the delivery fee plus whatever the customer tips. So you don't really know if the customer tips or not because if a restaurant charges five dollars, let's say if the restaurant charges five dollars for a delivery fee. At the next stop sign, turn right. If the restaurant charges five dollars for a delivery fee and you accept that five dollar order so you don't know what the delivery fee is versus what the customer tip so i'm assuming since that order was only like five dollars that that was the, the delivery fee sign, turn and, right she just, Kusawachi Street. and she just gave me five dollars so. so basically that's how you did i want to tell y'all too if you need to pause like say you need to be or you want to eat you want to stop and get you something to eat or you need to get gas or anything so you go to, go into the app, it's three little lines to the left, to the top left. So you just click that and you click pause orders. And when you click pause orders, it's gonna start from 35 minutes counting down. So basically they won't send you any orders while you're paused. But if you was if you um shit, I can't even tell y'all. But let's say you pause longer than 35 minutes, like when the timer runs out, then they will end your dash. But you can always go back in whenever you feel like it. So they tried to send me an order for a checkers. Um, 5.8 miles total for four dollars. The way gas is, like, I'm not about to accept no four dollars for 5.8 miles. 
So I decline orders left and right because, like I said, I'm not about to be accepting two dollars and fifty cent tip or five dollar tip. Y'all expect me to drive seven miles, nine miles. I just got another order for Wendy's. 3.7 miles total, $2.50. No. And you can decline as many orders as you want. I declined, I want to say it was maybe about seven in a row. And the only thing that happened was they were, they messaged, well, not messaged me, but they, you know, on the app it popped up. And it was like, it seems like you weren't taking any orders right now. We're going to pause your dash. You can get back in, you know, when you, you can get back in when you feel like taking or when you can take more orders again. Even then, I could have resumed the dash if I wanted to, but at the time, like I said, nobody was really tipping, and everybody wanted me to drive like seven, eight miles, and like I said, the tip was only like four or five dollars, so I did pause, and I waited until I think it was like evening time, and then I went back in the dash, and then the tips were back good again. So DoorDash is slow right now, y'all, so I just logged into Uber Eats. They want nine miles for four dollars and eight. But yeah, so no, I declined that too. And it's not really slow, it's just that nobody tipping. And like I said, with gas prices, I'm not about to be cheating myself. This one, another one. 7.2 miles for $4.98. Includes expected tip. Like, that includes the tip? $5? Like, for 7 miles? 28 minutes total? Like, no. Yeah, like I said, today is real slow. Within that hour and 42 minutes, I literally only made $13. And that is not a typical day for me. I usually make at least $20 an hour. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to go home, probably take me a nap. It's 3.23 right now. And I'll probably come back out about 4 or 5-ish. And it should pick up then. So I'll pull y'all back up when I come back out. All right, y'all. Got me a little energy bar. It's 4.09. And they're doing a promotion, two dollars and fifty cent per order. So let's see how we're about to do. So I got a nine dollar order for five guys for three miles. I accepted that. And while I was in there accepting that, another one came through for an additional eight miles for eleven dollars and fifty cent for Old Charlie's. So I just picked up the five guys. Now I'm headed to Old Charlie's and gonna get that order. And get the I forgot the screenshot. So that's why. So both of those orders were in and out. So now I'm headed to drop these off. This one is 10 minutes away. Instructions, leave it at the door. Please do not ring the doorbell. Dogs will bark. Thank you. I hope you have a good night. So I'm glad they left that in there. Let me know that they got dogs because your girl don't like dogs. And I hate when I get to people's houses. And dogs just start barking at the blue. You know, you start jumping because you got scared, caught you off guard. So yeah, they let me know that they do have dogs. So I will not ring the doorbell because I do not need the dogs barking. So let's go drop Brandon off. delivery from that double order is only five minutes away so those double orders definitely be clutch and it definitely helps because they put more money in your pocket and their instructions as well is to leave it at the door so i'm just dropping this off taking a picture and waiting on the next order to come through and it's starting to rain y'all so the order's really about to start coming through because when it rains i've noticed and of course y'all know how it is when it rains y'all don't want to leave the house anyway to go get no food so y'all rather have um deliver so it's about to rain so i already know that the order's about to start coming through like crazy like clockwork so let's just hope people tipping so boom i just did those two orders and i made 22 dollars. so that's why i said those double orders get you money faster just waiting for our next order so y'all know i told y'all earlier today that it was dead or whatever i ain't made for 13 dollars in like an hour and 40 something minutes well now i started back dashing at four it was like 14 4 15 ish that i started back dashing it's currently 7 17 p.m and i'm at 71 dollars. 
So that is four, five, six, seven, three hours. I made seventy one dollars in three hours. So that's why I said it be dead sometimes, and sometimes it don't be dead. But that's why I decided to take a break because that little thirteen dollars and an hour and a half that ain't sit right with me because that's not usually how you know how much I be making and stuff. So I'm about to finish up, and when I finish up dashing, it's seven seventeen now. I usually stop at eight because it's about to get dark, of course. So once I finish dashing, then I will come back and give y'all my totals. All right, y'all. So I'm home now. It's nine thirteen. I finished my last dash. I want to say at eight thirty. So my total today is one thirty one seventy five. One thirty one seventy five. So I made one hundred thirty one dollars seventy five cent. And I'll insert the little uh, pay thingy right there so you can see how many hours I dashed, total hours, and my earnings for the whole week because I dashed. I want to say three days. So for a total of three days, I met like three eighty seven something like that. But I'm gonna insert that here so y'all can see my earnings for the week. And that will conclude this video. And I will see y'all in the next video.